Hello guys. Uh, usually don't record videos with audio, but then I end up posting them with uh, just like me mouth breathing in the background. So today you're going to hear a little bit from me about what's going on. These are Aventurbot parts. They are unpainted. This is how they come for people who were uh, unpatient or unlucky, I suppose. I am painting them today. I have a can of uh, paint and primer all in one, uh, metal, plastic, masonry. Uh, I stated in the forums that <clears throat> as soon as this thing works, I'm going to print replacement parts just in case. So I'm not too worried about quality of paint. If you are, uh, you could probably spend more. This was, uh, I think, $9 at Home Depot. Uh, you'll see in my structure here, the real reason for this video is uh, it is a very complex three-dimensional scaffolding which I have suspended from, yeah, you see it there, that is a sled. Uh, just so happened to be up there, had a string dangling from that, and uh, it's my garage, it's the tennis ball I use, so, you know, reduce, reuse, and whatever. Uh, we have the final bed part down here. And I just wanted to give you guys a three-dimensional perspective on how to lay these out. Take a closer look at some of the wire. Uh, just in case you need some ideas. This is really Dewey's uh, setup, although I just had a little picture, and this is what I've improved from that. Uh, he says four to five minutes for a, uh, I'm sorry, four to five coats for a good, clean coverage. I assume that probably around the second coat I will be... Uh, rearranging uh, all the pieces so that whatever I can't cover in the first two coats will get coated in the second two coats and uh, it will already be covered wherever I'm hanging them from. Can says <clears throat> next coat in between an hour. Uh, what do you care what the can says? Read your can, file your directions, and uh, take it easy guys. One. And see they're already appearing to be coated. If I had uh, uh, one piece of advice at this point, since I'm going to change in between coat one and coat two, make sure you stay the 12 inches away. You got a few drips here, not good, but uh, you know, like I said, not terribly worried about it. Uh, the other tip is uh, if you're going to mask the floor, you need a lot of it masked. This is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, this is, fortunately if it gets far enough away it dries first, but also tape your masking down. I taped most of mine down, but I left a couple pieces and began to stick to it almost right away. You see we're fine now, but yeah, so Adventure Bot Stage 1.